All right, we just want to do a quick video here on your new gem remote system. On the side, you'll find this latch. It's got a little hole in there. You can put a padlock in it if you're so inclined. Most people don't, that would lock it. But this latch weatherproofs the unit. You can see the seal in here. It's pretty important that when you're not using it, that door remain closed and latched at all times. Keep the weather out. So anyways, go ahead and open her up. Down here, lower left, you'll see the master power switch. You wanna go ahead and turn that to on, at which point you can come up here and either do up, down, or off. I'm gonna go ahead and press down. Now, irrespective of the lift you have, that's gonna go ahead and run the unit down at that point. In order to turn it back off, you would come up here and turn the power to off. So if you're trying to press either one of these buttons or any of the buttons, um, or your clicker for that matter, it's not gonna work if the power on the lower left is not turned to on. So you're gonna want that on at all times when you're trying to use it. Um, auto run is you can see it's indicated by this little glowing red light. What auto run is, is it allows you to hit the button one time and let go and the unit will run. If that is not on, you'll be relegated to keeping it manually depressed the entire time. Let off and it stops. Same thing for up. So go ahead and leave auto run on at all times. Now, your unit has a limit switch and that's a little black box right here. It'll be in a different location. This is not something you fool with. We have predetermined with rotary cam uh, micro switches where the unit stops. So this thing will run either up or down until that micro switch engages at the top range of travel you know, near the pier deck and also conversely at the bottom. Uh, this learn button up here is for you to program a new clicker transmitter if uh, you lose one overboard. Um, that's pretty simple. Uh, you simply press that once and then press down on the clicker twice. Um, this is the leveling switch. It's a spring loaded feature so it can't be left on all that does is cut off the bow motor or you know in some lifts the side the outboard motor and that allows you to level the unit bow to stern or side to side depending on what you have um, so when you're done with things you're going to want to turn the power off close the latch and then also unplug it now, if you come in here, this is a Hubble twist lock plug. It's a small quarter, quarter turn to the left and then you unplug her. And it's a good idea to leave it up in the box out of the weather, it doesn't really matter. Um, but for reducing any potential electrolysis or the, any accidental running, if there were a lightning strike or some kind of short, it's always a good idea to unplug, but you wanna plug that back in when you're ready to use it pop your latch turn it to on you can close the unit back up and at this point you could use your handheld clicker um, or whatever's easiest that's about it